Mark of the Beast 666. Now, why 666? I just want to contemplate for a moment on this, please. Bear with me. There is, as Christians, we believe in the Holy Trinity. Well, guess what? There is the filthy. I, I, didn't, I wanted to say unholy, but no, no, it's filthy Trinity. So there is the filthy Trinity. Satan imitates the Lord Jesus, but total opposite way. He hates the Lord with a passion. He hates him. That's why you can invoke any name. He won't move. The moment you invoke the name Jesus, all hell breaks loose. Like that. Why? Why did you speak about Jesus? Why? Ah, Satan. Satan is triggering you. Or whatever you are. There is the, we believe in the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. There is the filthy Trinity. Now let's say, days of creation, they are seven. Number seven resembles complete perfection. Number seven, in the biblical meaning, terminology, it resembles complete or perfection. And numbers in the Bible, every number has a meaning. It was not there written fluke, no. It was purposefully put there because the author of the book is God himself, the Holy Spirit. So number seven resembles complete perfection. Number six resembles incomplete imperfection. It's not a complete number. So the Holy Trinity is seven, complete, perfect. The filthy Trinity is six, incomplete, imperfect. Holy Trinity, triple seven. Father, seven. Son, seven. Holy Spirit, seven. Well, the filthy trinity, 666, the red dragon, Satan, is six. And then the first beast, who has the seven heads and the ten horns, is the other six. And the false prophet, who is like a lamb with two horns and speaks like a dragon, is the other six. So there's the dragon, the beast, and the false prophet, filthy trinity.